But there's this thing going on where people buy mystery boxes from eBay. Basically, you pay an amount for a specific box containing random things that the seller thinks is worth that much. So you, the buyer, really have no idea what is in the box. So we're gonna try that out right now. Dude, there's actually one for $50,000. That is insane. There's one for 20,000, 10,000, 5,000. We're going to buy a $10,000 box. So get that here, buy it now. I am crazy because I am going to buy a $10,000 mystery box. I really want to know what is inside the box. What's in there? And there you go. What's up guys? How you all doing? For today's video, I got eBay mystery box. Hey guys, welcome to a new video on the channel. We are joined with Jordan Houston today. Hey, we have a mystery box here, which we bought. It has a value of £10,000. Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here, and we're about to open an eBay mystery box. And it feels so good. Hello, my friends. I'm Jen, and I'm waiting for my friends, Lindsay and Thea. They're supposed to meet me here for an eBay mystery box challenge, but they're nowhere to be found. So we're here. Hi. 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 Mr. Hi. Look, I got it. Woo. I got it. It hovers. Oh, that is cool. Dude, it's like Harry Potter, kind of. Oh my gosh. Look, it, it follows my hand. Oh, that is cool. It's like the future. How does this work? We have a Bitcoin. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Papa Jake here from t and we are back with a brand new video. And today, whoa. Did you get it? Oh, he got it in. Yo. Guys, check this out. First shot. When did Logan edit that to go in? But guys, we are back with a brand new video and today we are doing another eBay mystery box challenge. That is right, we have a $100 eBay mystery box versus a $10,000 eBay mystery box. Now, I know what you're thinking, Papa Jay, $10,000, that is a lot of money and it is, except the second mystery box only cost $1,000 because you have the opportunity to win a $10,000 grand prize. Now, you don't know what it is. I'm assuming it will probably be like gold or what, Logan, what else is worth $10,000? A new car? Can they fit a car in a mystery box? I don't think they can. They can't fit a car in there. You get one Bitcoin. You could also get like diamonds. It could be diamonds for all we know, or it could just be cash. Who knows? I'm excited though, guys, because whenever we do this, it's always a lot of fun. And the funny part is, I actually genuinely have more fun with the cheaper mystery boxes than the more expensive ones, because the more expensive ones are normally like one big object, and the smaller ones have a bunch of really fun stuff. So we have both. They came in the mail. Uh, we got the first $100 one pretty quick, but it took a little bit longer for the $10,000, and I think that's because it's definitely a winner. I think it's a winner and we're gonna be getting some really cool stuff today. Before we jump into that guys, I do wanna remind you, if you happen to be brand new to the channel, make sure to smack that like button down below and do not forget to smack the bell button so you never miss a brand new awesome video. It's right down there, click that, turn on notifications. Let's try and get 50,000 likes on this video for another mystery box challenge. But let's go check out the boxes. So here we are, we have our mystery boxes here. So this is the $100 mystery box. Down here we have the $10,000 mystery box, which is actually really big. It was a lot bigger than I thought it would be, and look, guys, look at the size of this. Like, maybe it's a painting or something. Logan, how much do you think the Mona Lisa costs? Is that like $10,000? No, Jake, no? that's a lot more. <laughs> Wait, it's $100,000? Man, all right, paintings are expensive, so maybe it's not a painting, but who knows what it could be, but we're gonna get into that after. First up, we have our $100 mystery box, which is actually pretty heavy. It makes a lot of weird noises when you shake it. So I'm excited. We're gonna jump in here, check out every item that comes inside, and then we will jump into the granddaddy, the $10,000 mystery box, and see what is in there. I am really excited for that one, but let's start with this and see what we got inside. Good thing I've got my trusty and handy butter knife. Probably not the optimal thing, but we're, we cannot find our box cutters, so there's not like an opening on this, right? Like you don't go in here or something. I hope there's nothing in here I could hurt. Oh wow, okay. So this is by the same person, I guess you could say, that we got the last one from. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if there's like one mystery box and they all have the same thing in it, or if everyone truly is random. So we're about to find out, but this is the $100 version. Should we just rip it? Here we go. Ooh, I already see things. I'm seeing things, Logan. Wait, you can't take it yet. Why don't you pick one this time, Logan? I'm, I'm picking the first one. All right, pick it, dude. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh. Oh, what is it? Whoa. Oh, it's a, it's a plasma light. That's cool. Is that is that dangerous? Is this like, it doesn't look dangerous. Is this it like looks... lightning in a bottle? All right, here we go, Jake. Whoa, Whoa. dude! 
It's like lightning in a bubble ball. That's so cool. How does this work? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Guys, this is a science question for you. How does this work? And also, am I like a centimeter away from getting electrocuted? It looks so weird. Yeah, we should turn off the lights to see what it looks like. That's actually a really cool little thing. It's something that I would never think to buy slash like didn't even really realize you could buy it, but that is awesome. I'm just kind of mesmerized oh. by it. It's so interesting. It like follows you. It's so weird. So far so good. I mean, like I said, the $100 ones normally are just full of cool stuff. So hopefully we get more cool things and not junk, but let's keep going. The next thing in the box, I'm gonna put my hand in and pull it out. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this definitely feels unique. Here we go. Oh, what is it? What is it? It is! Squeeze popper! <laughs> what is this? Squeeze the fire, poppin' pig. Oh, it's a little piggy. Yeah, it's like Mr. Piggy. Okay, all right, let me open this up. I wanna see what this is. So, I guess you just squeeze it? Oh! <laughs> squeeze pop! Oh, dude, this thing fired far. That was like a rocket launcher. Guys, this could be like, you know, you're playing Nerf with your friend. They think they're all cool because they've got like Nerf fully auto weapons, but you pull this out and you're like, wait a second. Go into the Nerf battle like, Let's go! Fire! This thing fires hard. Dude, it's like probably more accurate than a Nerf gun. Jake, I think it's more accurate than a Nerf gun. <laughs> Piggy! <laughs> okay, I really like the Pig Popper. You know, this is a cool toy. He can't be Mr. Piggy, because we already have a Mr. Piggy. Guys, what should we name him? I don't know, I like to think like you're putting broccoli in his mouth. He's like, I don't want broccoli. No! No broccoli. Yeah, eat your broccoli, buddy. No! All right, next item in the box. What do we got? This feels weird. What's this? Oh my goodness. What is this? Jake, it's like a flying disco ball. <laughs> Wait, what? It flies? What? Yo, we gotta open this up. I gotta see what this is. <laughs> Look at this. This looks so cool. Is this like a mini drone? How does this work? There's a button. Oh. Whoa! Logan! Logan! Uh, okay, it's flying! What happened? Logan! <laughs> What is this thing? Is there no control? There's no instructions! Did it break? Why? What's it playing? What kind of music is this? I think it's... Oh! 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 Okay! 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 I got it this time! Don't let go! I've got it! Don't let go! I gotta let go! It wants to fly! Don't let go, Jake! Well, how do I control it then? Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Whoa! What's this? It's like a blade! It's gonna kill you! Look! I got it! I got it! It hovers! Oh, that is cool. Dude, it's like Harry Potter, kinda. What is this song, though? Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh! Look, it, it follows my hand. Oh, that is cool. It's like the future. Guys, what is this song? Can I make it? Oh, oh. I don't Jake, really that know is how cool. it's working. This is really cool. I have never seen Whoa. anything like this. Okay, wait, 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 come back! Come back! Come back! Oh, hey, come back! Okay. Other than the song, it's he's going now, now, when I'm now. That's not even that's that that's doing it justice. All right. Other than the song that comes with this, this is really cool. You know what it reminds me of? If you guys know in Harry Potter, what's that called? Like the thing that flies the ball? It's the golden snitch. The golden snitch. This exactly is like that, except it plays weird disco songs and lights up. I'm actually like, I, I can play with that this. That was really Dude, cool. Dude, I could play with this for longer. Like, imagine you could, like, throw it across the room. Definitely a cool addition to the mystery box. So far, guys, all this stuff has been pretty cool. Not a lot of junk so far. So, uh, let's keep going. Logan, you want to pick the next one? Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Grab something. Grab something, dude. Oh! Box. Oh, you picked one thing. What is it? It's a box within a box. What could this be? It's even more mysterious. Another box inside a box. Whoa, what is this? Useless box. What's it, what's it do? It does nothing, Jake. What do you mean, is this a box? Okay, push. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I'm so confused. Logan, can you explain this? Look, push the button. Pushes the, yeah, it just, see? Oh, it pushes it back. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and you gotta do it again. Oh my. But what's inside? Pretty cool. Oh. 
Oh, I thought there'd be like a little person it's in there. Like a little <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a little figure. So when you push the button, so it literally is useless. Other than if you want to push a button and get the button push, then you got to push the button again. But by pushing the button again, it gets pushed. It's an endless cycle. You could sit here all day pushing the button, but the button never gets pushed. Okay, cool. I uh, never would have thought of having that in a mystery box, but looks pretty awesome. I guess we should move on. Let me know down below. Would you push the button? But we still got some more stuff in here, so I'm gonna put my hand in, I'll feel around. I'm gonna try and find something. Oh, maybe small. Okay, all right. What is it, Logan? It is. Uh, an infinity cube. Oh, I've seen things like this before. It's one of those cute. Okay, so it just keeps going infinitely. It's kind of like a fidget toy. All right, that's kind of cool. We gotta keep going, Logan. We can't spend all day on the infinity cube for an infinity amount of time because we've got an infinity amount of fun to have. All right, next item here. Uh, let's go for something big here. All right, this is a big box. What Whoa. is this? A rotating police party light. Whoa, all right. Cool, I guess. You know, maybe we could mount this on top of uh, like our Segway or something when we go fight crime. But uh, all right, pretty interesting. Next up on the list, let's go in here, grab another box. What do we got? It is a desktop punching bag. Okay, all right. Didn't we get something like this last time? Oh, it's oh, like a mini punching bag. Finger, yeah. yeah. Oh, so this might be big. All right, let's check this out, guys. Did you just get a paper cut? Yes, a really bad paper cut. Wow, okay. This is like a full on out punching bag. Dude, check this out. This is legit. Oh, dude, I'm like Spider-Man. I don't know how to box. Is this how you do it? Oh, <laughs> 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 it's going really fast. All right, guys, Papa Jake, hardest punch of the year. <laughs> I know what will do it. Need these bad boys. What, dude? Oh, yeah. Hulk smash! You got the power, bro. I mean, you almost look like the Hulk, Logan. Like a little tiny bit off. The hands are definitely the size of the Hulk, but you know, the rescue needs some work. <laughs> Alright, well that was definitely a cool addition to the mystery box. I like how there's kind of like a theme where like last time we got something similar, but this is like a step up from it. So we're gonna leave this here. It's time to go on to the next item and see what else we got in here. Put my hands in. Oh, there doesn't feel like there's a lot left. Alright, let's go pull whatever this is out. Boom! What is it, Logan? Oh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, whatever it is, it fell out. We don't need this anymore. Wait a second, I think I know what this is. It's table basketball! If you needed to deck out like an office or something, or you're in the, maybe your desk at school, imagine, dude, imagine if you're allowed to have all this at your desk at school, just like all the teachers talking, you're getting ripped over here, practicing your hoops over here. All right, so you gotta get it in the basketball hoop. Luckily for you guys, I got the Kobe! Uh, all right, all right you, know what, you know what, Logan, how do we have a competition? First one to get it in wins. <laughs> Fail! Oh, you got that shot. It's all about the skill here, guys. Forget basketball, we got more stuff to unbox. Let's go through here. Looks like we have a few items left. Ready, Logan? Oh, I feel, I feel something really weird here. <laughs> Look at I see eyes. It's a Mr. Pooh mask that looks very scary. <laughs> look at the look at the photo and look what this looks like. It looks nothing like the photo. Uh, again, we got a poo in the last box, so I guess there's a theme to always have a poo in the box. Uh, but this is uh, this is a bit weird. Logan, you wanna try it on? I <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to try it on either, so we're gonna put this aside. It looks like we have one more thing in here, so uh, let's see what it is. It saved it. It's big. Oh, as the last item in the mystery box is... Magic trucks. I think we need to build it. car here so as far as I know uh, you put the car on this and it's supposed to go so we made a little bit of a track let's see how this works it's actually pretty cool and the funny thing is I've seen this before once we opened it up I realized this is one of those like brand new as seen on TV toys so it's kind of like our first review ever so let's see if it works three two one go <laughs> all right it did not work three two one go no no 
Three, two, one, go! And I guess you can literally just change the track as it goes on. Do you survive this? I have some bad. I have some bad news for everyone. Both the car and the track are gone. All right, well that pretty much wraps up the $100 mystery box. I think that was a pretty good deal for $100. I think the fun part is the mystery and even just figuring out what some of these items are and how to use them is a bunch of fun. That was awesome, but guys, I know what you're thinking. We still have the $10,000 mystery box to go into. Are you guys ready to see what we got? Let's do this. Here we go, this is the $10,000 mystery box and I know you're probably thinking, Papa Jake, is it $10,000? So no, this was $1,000, but you have the potential to win $10,000, so I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, let's open it up and see what we got inside. And all right, let's pack it up here. Feel something. Guys, we have, a, we have a little black bag. Is this the gold? Is this it? Did we get the $10,000? Before I open that, before I ruin the surprise, I wanna see what else is in this box. Dude! It came with an iPad, an iPad mini. <laughs> that is actually awesome. I mean, I already have an iPad, but still, this is sweet. Uh, it's an iPad mini 4, 128 gigabytes. I guess that covers a lot of the price of it. So whatever is in this is either the equivalent of $10,000 or is like 400 bucks or it's nothing. And then I just spent a thousand dollars on an iPad. Hello and thank you for purchasing my mystery box. If you have any questions or concerns, please email. Okay, there's an email. Inside you will find one gifted item with a value of four to seven hundred dollars, iPad mini, along with the chance to win, along with the chance to win ten thousand dollars. Inside you have a chance of finding a code. Please email me the code. If you have one, I will transfer one full Bitcoin redeemable to your account. If this was two months ago, this could have been $20,000. There is a Bitcoin. That's pretty cool. Is this worth anything? Inside we have a Bitcoin, uh, but there is no code on it. Logan, I don't think that's worth anything. In fact, I don't even think this is a real Bitcoin. Well, we did not win. What's up guys? How you all doing? For today's video, I got eBay mystery box. I ordered it a month ago when the trend was actually pretty strong. Everybody was doing eBay mystery box from a hundred bucks to ten thousand dollar ones. So I thought I'm gonna jump on that trend too. But it took almost a month to deliver it to my house since I bought it. So the trend is not as hot anymore, but that's okay. I honestly thought I'll never see my five hundred dollars or my mystery box but we finally got it so let's unbox it and see what we got it's a lot bigger than I expected I honestly expected $500 one mystery box would be something like this big but not this huge so let's open it up and see what we got inside there boom whoa look at that this is huge I got here a letter well, there is a letter and right here it says Crazy Russian Hacker. I guess he googled my name or something and he figured it out who bought the mystery box. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good one because he knew that I was the one that they bought the mystery box. A little bit chicken, but it's okay. This past month of putting together this mystery box is easy one of the most memorable moments of 2017. I am sorry for the weight of you had to endure to this was all with good intent. Well, I understand. He googled who was buying the mystery box and he really meant to make a really good mystery box. He also included a little USB flash drive that he made a video for me, but do not send me USB flash drives. I'm not going to use them because a lot of them has viruses and stuff, I'm not taking that ace. But anyway, check this out, this is all vintage stuff. So there's some kind of vintage logo right here. Let's see what else we got here. Very well packaged. Alright, the first one. The first package, man, there's a lot of stuff. There's a little vintage plate, I assume. It doesn't really say who it was produced by on the back. So maybe I'll Google it, what that plate is all about. Okay, let's see what else I got. 
Oh my gosh, look at that. This is a Hellboy 2 running type actual movie on a tape. This is Hellboy 2. This is a trailer is for motion pictures that has not been rated. I don't really have movie projector, so I won't be able to watch this movie, but nevertheless, I'm pretty sure it's pretty collectible. Okay, let's see what else we got over here. No way, what is this? Whoa! Polaroid lens camera. This is crazy, I never even seen a camera like that. Looks like there is no cottages inside to take pictures with, but that's pretty cool. Vintage items, you know guys, I like vintage stuff. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I love opening stuff. Whoa, what is that? Some vintage spark plugs. I have no idea what this is. Some kind of bolt. And there's some crazy vintage spark plugs. Interesting. You guys should let me know in comments below how much these things are worth. Is it gonna be worth $500? You should guys do the calculation for me and send it to me if it's going to worth exactly the $500 that I spent on this mystery box or more. So I'm figuring it out. Looks like there's full stuff of vintage items, which I like a lot. I do love vintage stuff. Maybe some of the cool stuff I'll keep it around here. That's a whole bunch of plastic bags. It feels kind of heavy, but let's see what's inside. Man, how many plastic bags are there? There you go. Finally, let's open it up. Oh, it's... I think it's a hammer. Don't you guys think? It has to be some kind of hammer. Man, it's packaged so well. I love it. Make the video longer. Oh, what is that? This is uh, some kind of award, I think. No way. Whoa, YouTube craziest, crazy Russian hacker. Man, this mystery box turned into personal mystery box. There you go, it's pretty heavy. Thank you guys, I got an award for being YouTube's craziest. It's like almost a fun mail unboxing. Oh, it says fragile. So I gotta be careful with this one. Man, there's so much stuff, I can't believe it. I think it's gonna be worth $500. Meta piece kit, some kind of musical instrument or something. Let me know in comments below, what the heck is that? Maybe I'll read the, e Maybe I'll read the mail and figure it out, but it looks like some kind of musical instrument or something. Anyways, let's see what else we got. There's a little vintage sign, American Telephone and Telegram. Let me know in comments below how much does this sign worth. Here's a little rusted on the back, but I know those vintage signs worth a little bit of money. So you guys should let me know in comments below, calculate everything and how much do you think all this stuff worth together. There's a little vintage picture, who is that? I have no idea. Also, let me know in comments below. Okay, what else we got here? This is probably gonna be the coolest piece right here. This is some kind of poster. Whoa, let's find out what it is. Might have to hang it in the studio if it's something really, really cool. Whoa! Oh my gosh! This is so... Whoa! There's so many! I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm gonna show you one at a time. Check this out. Movie posters. And they are original. This is so cool. That's so crazy, guys. Look at that poster. I'm gonna hang them all over in the studio. I might. At least some of them. Look at this poster right here. So awesome. What is that? Is this like supposed to be cut out cards or something? Because look on the other side. It's some kind of cards that have not been cut. That's pretty epic for sure. Also, let me know in comments below how much is this each poster is worth. I think we definitely going to make 500 bucks. 
Wow, look at this poster, man. It's huge. Avenger, Age of Ultron. Check this out. Oh my gosh, it's also signed. Who is this signed by? Let me know in comments below also. That's so amazing. This is huge poster. I will have to actually hang it somewhere in the studio probably. Because this is super cool. Whoa, this one is cool too. Oh my gosh. This is uh, Caesar hands. I watched that movie actually. I liked it. There's an old movie, I watched it when I was a kid. Look at that poster. This is sick, man. This one is not signed poster, but nevertheless, it's amazing. Boom, there's more posters on the waist right here. Wow, this is awesome. This premiere, 21st Hulu. Boom, Clock and Dagger, and it's by Marvel. So cool, man, so many cool posters. And 3D glasses, I think. And what else we got here? Woo! we start out with some cool vintage items. It was like, ah, it's okay, it's kind of cool. But this poster makes everything amazing. Wow, which one is that? Jessica Jones, Marvel. Jessica Jones, Marvel, season two, coming 2018, Netflix. This is cool. I love that this one is already framed. Very, very nice. No way, this one is actually signed too. How much do you think one of this worth? Framed and signed. Super cool. That's pretty cool. I never seen a gadget like that. You can turn your boring case into this wooden piece. Anyways, what else we got? There's one more thing right here. Honestly, I think it's worth easily $500. I think money spent well. AT&T on this side, so another pretty vintage piece. I have no idea what it does. What is that? Let me know in comments below. This is so weird. Let me show you close up. This is like a bonus item. It's AT&T on this side. And when you press it, it makes a weird noise over here. Oh yeah, looks like one more thing. I thought it was over. Almost missed one more thing. Let's see what's in here. Looks like empty box. What is this? American's first space age world fair. Oh, this is so cool, a little vintage Vegas. I love everything about space, so this is pretty cool. I wonder what this is, like maybe like a bath bags, or I have no idea. April 21st, October 21st, 1962. So also pretty vintage bags. Okay guys, one more time. I lay everything out. What I want you to do is calculate how much everything is worth and let me know in comments below if it was worth $500 or not. As you can see, everything is vintage out here. There's American telephone and telegraph vintage sign. There's a little still working AT&T piece, which is kind of freaks me out a little bit. Super weird, never seen anything like that. Some vintage plate, I guess. It has no markings on the back. I have no idea what that is. Some little weird part, some kind of automotive part, I have no idea. And this weird box, I don't know. It came with some weird musical piece. Maybe it's some kind of musical vintage instrument or something. Dog and cat food together. I never seen that before, that's kind of funny. Jessica Jones, Marvel season 2 coming in 2018. So it's pretty new, but I think it's signed. So that's cool. Square Shooter 2 Polaroid camera. This some kind of celebrity vintage picture. I have no idea who that is or how much it was. Couple vintage spark plugs. And the coolest parts that I really love. Is this some kind of cards? I have no idea that it was supposed to be cards. Let me know in comments below. This is super cool. I think he explains it in the letter, maybe I'll read it later. 
the Solana Ways, the poster right here. Clock and Dagger, I think. Free form coming in 2018. So that's pretty new stuff. Caesar Hands, I really love this Leoposta. It's very well done and as you can see it changes colors on the side, the pipes are there. That's a beautiful, beautiful poster. So right here, everything about the movie. Love that poster a lot. This poster is super cool. Carnage Marvel. Don't think this one is signed anywhere, but I really love this poster and the paper is amazing on them. And Avenger Age of Ultron. Look how amazing quality that is. Let me know in comments below who it's signed by. Also there is a tape of Hellboy 2. Let me know in comments below how much is this thing worth. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I know that Katyn gonna love this Marvel posters a lot. So I'm gonna give it to her. She's gonna be pretty excited about them. So honestly to me, money well spent. I'm really glad that I got a good mystery box. But anyways, let me know in comments below. Was it worth $500 or could I got everything a lot cheaper? And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video. And I will see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to a new video on the channel. We are joined with Jordan Houston today. Hey. We have a mystery box here which we bought. It has a value of ten thousand pounds and we spent 5k each making sure that we got this box for you guys today. The value inside this box can range between 250 pounds to a hundred thousand pounds. That's a big that's a so big basically, difference. So it? basically we're about to get like really poor or really rich basically. It's, it's kind of like a gamble like we spent five thousand pounds each, ten thousand pound box, mystery box. It has like Louis Vuitton, that, that video Rolex, 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 Rolex yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen so many people <laughs> get so many good items from this. But there's also like terrible items isn't there? Like, we we saw get some bad items. We saw people get like legit like like plasters and stuff like it was oh it's, it's risky man because there's only one box between us two the game is is that we're gonna do a lucky dip so there's so there's two of us so we have to pick one item each we take it in turns and the idea is once you pick an item and you unwrap it you can't go back on the item no 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 you can't Whatever go back we get we get okay so Literally. even that, like say now, even though we spent the same amount of money getting this box together, which whatever we get, we have to keep. But we we have to keep it. These. Can't trade. Can't go back. Oh, that's like it's a our item. Us. So, yeah. So we have no idea what's in this box. I'm it's nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. nervous. I'm genuinely nervous. I'm nervous. Oh my god. Five grand each. We, we can't swap back. We, we get. We can't. We can't. I think the idea is we're just going to open it now and if you guys thought this was a good video idea, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Okay, so I think we should just get into this. Yeah, let's good. Like, yeah? Yeah. Okay. They're wrapped up, aren't they? Should be. Yeah. From the videos which we have seen, they are wrapped up, so let's just go have a look right now. Wait, so we won't know what's in here, will we? Because no idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're, they're all wrapped up. Bro, what is this stuff? Okay. Okay, you ready? Who's going first? Yeah. It's literally a lucky dip, guys. Whatever you get, you get. Okay, um... Okay. I'm nervous. Okay, ready? Okay, so should I go first? Okay, yeah, okay. you go first. Okay. okay, Um... Honestly, I'm hoping you get something good, but then... Okay, so... Okay, so I've got mine, you go and pick yours, Okay. I'm just gonna go for the one on top. Really? Because okay. so that means, whatever that is, they put that in last, then. True. Okay. I bet, is that good? Oh, I don't okay, know. Ready? That, like, okay, ready? See, now you're kind of like... I feel like you're jinxing it. Okay, ready? Okay, so shoot open together. No, I'll go first. I'll go you first. go okay, first. Okay, okay. Definitely. Okay, so. Okay, so I got an iPhone 5S. Bad. Fair okay. enough. That's not. Wait, so if, if we spent. Okay, no, we did spend quite a lot, to be fair. iPhone 5S, that's actually kind of like. That's a I'm little, happy. That's a little... yeah, I was thinking by it's like 80 pounds. <laughs> true. <laughs> but that, no, that's okay, true. Well, okay. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, right. Okay, right. Okay, iPhone 6s. Okay. So that's like a generation. Okay, that's okay. a generation more than okay, we so, got. Okay, so you got a generation more than I got. That's yeah. fair enough. Okay. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. That's cool. Okay, that, that, we can't go back. Okay, this time you go first. This okay. Time you go first. Right. Let's, wait. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. okay. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even gonna look. Okay. It feels yeah. quite soft. Should I go? Well, yeah. If you pick one out. Okay. Um. Okay. No. Um. Don't be feeling them all. Okay. 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 Okay, well, what does yours Yeah, mine's like? soft. Mine's okay. really soft. Well, I'm, I'm, mine's clothing. Wait, mine is clothing? Yeah, so it's mine. Wait, what? <gasps> that's so crazy. Whoa, we it's... actually got lucky. A Gucci top. Okay, that's cool. A Yo, Gucci top. Wait, so is it going to be like Balenciaga or something? It must be something. It must be. <laughs> 
。スラジンじゃん。ダスモン。スラジンじゃん。え、いや、スラジンじゃん。スラジンじゃん。いる。バイバイ。Maybe。Yeah, no, you had an iPhone at the start. I don't even want it. You don't even want it. Okay. I don't even want well, it. Well, this, this one's going right. I think you should. So we should we should, we should rotate it. So you go first, Naku, this time. This, this is like rubber. Rubber. This can be like Gucci shoes or something. Uh, oh my gosh, that's really heavy. <laughs> wait, really? Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. Awful. It's a bro. It's a, oh, wait. It's a hand. Wait. Maybe that's like. That, maybe that's just fate that you're supposed to get away. Like. Yeah, all right. Like all right. Muscles. That's lucky. Though. Okay, no, yeah. I fair enough. Know. You, you got to get some bad ones out. Fair enough. I'm, I'm now. I've got I two bad ones on a row now. Yeah, but, yeah, my luck. At the end of the day, right? You started with an iPhone, so yeah, that's, that's kind of yours. Are, yours was better though. Well, not much though. Like fair, the fair, six fair. and the yeah, five are yeah, yeah, hardly any difference. Thanks, mystery box. We have ten k for my. It's free, free, free box. Well. Cool. So what's three k? 3kg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, okay. Not the value, obviously. Changes the game a little bit. But the value is Okay, well, I'm gonna put this down. Right, my, my go. Download, download. Actually, I'm actually trying not to fill. Again, I'm gonna go for, the, like, the top one. What is that? I don't oh. think this one's wrapped. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, well, I, I picked it out. I, I guess I've kind of got to keep it. If I had an opportunity, I would give you the... Bro, beats, beats. easily. Beats. Maybe they're dummies. Uh, no, they're not. They're not dummies. No? They're definitely not. No, they're not. <laughs> well, I guess they can't be dummies. Feel them. They're... Yeah, real. Yeah? Oh, okay. But well, now they're broken, but... <laughs> See, the stuff that I've kind of got so far is actually quite a decent. So you've like... got Beats, Gucci Top, iPhone, iPhone 6S. I I've yeah. got a weight. <laughs> well, a slash and that's top. Yeah, well, an iPhone oh, 5S. The iPhone's kind of handy, if, like a spare. Yeah, but I've got a 7. <laughs> okay, well. I've got a 7 Plus. I was looking for the X. I've never seen anyone get an X so far. Is it my go to? Yeah, go? I go, go, go. Okay. Okay. Don't open this in front of me. Wait, it's not even wrapped. Is that, is that a tissue? <laughs> a tissue box. Wait, wait. wait a second. Wait, what? Is it. Oh, is that no, serious? don't even say that. No, stop, stop. Bro, no. Yeah, we just spoke no. about that. We spoke Let about me have that. Let me have that because you got. We can't. We can't go really? back on the. We shook hands. <laughs> we shook hands, remember? Yeah. We shook remember? Hands. You see? You want to have a look? Okay. 256 gig as well. That's really? The, that's the highest really? one. Wait, what gig have you got? <laughs> 60. <laughs> 16? <laughs> No, no, move on, move on. <laughs> I just went first, so now it's your luck. I'm excited because, like, oh, you, it, your luck yeah, is about yeah, to change. Yeah, 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 you will get something yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee oh, it. Oh, I guarantee oh, it. I guarantee oh, it. I bet you're one excited. Right? I bet you're one okay, excited. Okay, five grand. What is that? Because it could be like a diamond ring, right? Quality over so Could be, yeah. Okay, ready, guys? I'm quite excited for you. I've got a USB and a padlock. There's actually nothing I can say to that. USB. That might be useful one day. There's 16 gigabytes as well. 16 gigabytes. Same as your phone. <laughs> <laughs> ah! A padlock. Is the key there? Is there a key for it? There's not a key for it. <laughs> it's just a random padlock. You can always throw it. Throw it in the bin. Yeah, bin's over there if you want it. Cool. This might keep that because I get 32 gigabytes. Including your phone. Um, so now it's my go. Again, I, I think. No, wait, stop, stop, stop. This actually kind of isn't fair, bro. Like, uh -huh. This isn't fair at all. It is. Because I'm. I'm it's we like. We shook, like, we, but this is not fair. What? We shook. I'm. I know. Literally, I know, I know, I'm going I know, for I'm what I'm saying. This isn't fair. I'm going for whatever. Cut I think. I don't know. It's my go now, but I was. But I spent 5k, I've got a weight, a padlock, a USB, a slash on the top. <laughs> you've got, they all might you've, be got useful. you've got an iPhone X, an iPhone okay. 6, Beats, Gucci top. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, it's my go now, so let's just uh, I can't wait till out. you get something bad. Literally. It's just, you'll know the feeling when you get something bad. Okay, right. Should I get something out as well, or do you want It feels quite solid and heavy. Yeah. Like, I can imagine it's just, just like, I don't know, like a battery pack oh, or something cheap. Like a speaker okay, we'll or something. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That quite well. Where is that? Where is that? What's that? A Canon G7X. It's a Mark II. It's a Mark. I've got the Mark One. I've got the Mark One. Yeah, this isn't it. How do you feel today? <laughs> Great. Can I have that one? Can I have well, one? no, because cool. again, we shook hands, didn't we? Yeah, like, no, it's fine. Can go straight. I don't even mind. You, you, I could use your USB sometimes. Look at like. your part. Look at my part. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh three. Alright, three, right, three, two. Wait, together, 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 together. Sam, because I feel like you're like jinx or something. Okay, right. I, I don't. I, genu I genuinely won't look. Right. Wait, wait, We're going three, three two, two, one. one. Okay. Well, I literally okay, went. Okay. I literally went for the ones on top again. Did you? Literally. I, I dug a bit further. I don't even want to look at it. Just so okay, I really? get no idea. I see. Mine's a box. I know that. <gasps> oh, this gives like a bell, like a Gucci or a Gucci mm -hmm. bell. I don't know. Thanks, you one, go. so much. Oh my gosh. A Lynx can. So a Lynx can. That's what you get then for like Christmas. I've got 74 of these. All for my nan. All for 74 Christmases. I Every about... single year since I was zero. I didn't even look what I got. I got AirPods. I guess we can kind of use them both. Like, <laughs> they both like help us. Like Maybe fate's telling you that you like smell. Maybe. Alright. Right. Because everything you've got is kind of relevant, like your weight. It's empty. <laughs> is it? <laughs> okay, well. It's empty. Well, yeah, so AirPods. To me, if I. I, would, see. Let I me would, see. I would give them to you if I got AirPods. See the I AirPods. Got AirPods. Yeah, I see. Look at them. them. On the picture on the back as yeah. well. Yes. <laughs> Okay, right. okay, right. So now it's my turn to go for the next item. My luck must surely be. Oh no, changing. I'm good now. I'm good. I'm good. You five bad things in a row. You spend five k and then exactly. Yeah, no, I'm good. I've had good I'm, items I'm all the way I'm through. I've had. I wish you all the best. Let's mm. catch you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Just grab okay. one. Just grab one. Honestly, I okay, actually wish you all one. Another small one. Well, again, quality over size, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna. Shall I just open mine? I'm just gonna open mine. Oh, okay. My luck was bound to change. Pack. A battery pack. A battery pack. Like, what? Like, okay, all the best. All the best. Oh, jeez. A condom. I'm not gonna need it. Um. Okay, so, honestly, I'm gonna let you go first time because I feel like you can't, you won't get lucky again. So go ahead. Okay, so because I went last time, you, you're thinking my luck might change. Oh, definitely. I'm sorry, Look like, at your my G7X, luck. Beats, Gucci, iPhone, AirPods. Ba the battery pack. pack. The battery pack. <laughs> the battery pack was bad. That's good. Yeah, but I got a condom. <laughs> I literally yeah, but... got a... Okay, it's clothing. It might... You never know, it might be like re... Oh, oh. oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cool! You got, you got an off-white top. An off-white top? That's like £300 right there, bro. Well, it's not like the best one. Oh. It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's not the best. It's not the best. Are you kidding me? It's not the best. Do you want it? Yeah. What? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. I mean... Yes! <laughs> Well, technically, like the deal and stuff, like you know, like you know, <laughs> a handshake will do. A handshake does plenty. Thanks. thanks. It does plenty. Thanks, folks. That's all good. Thanks. You need to do one. All the oh, ones, okay, that's quite heavy. Wait, let me feel it. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's no, mine. No, so I'm yeah, feeling. Like, I'm feeling good about that one. Good. Yeah. Okay, it's gold. Wait, that must. That must be real it's gold. A fidget spinner. Wait, no. Has it not got any markings of gold spinner. on it? It's not gold. It's not. Is it's, it? It's no. Not. Right. <laughs> right. Um. Take that. Well, no, because no, the deal can get you go in your part. Right. <laughs> okay, last ones. Okay, last one. No, honestly, I'm actually not happy about this. Like, okay, last one. Let's just see what we get last ones, last ones, okay? So it must be, wait, surely there's like, it must be like something good left. So it's like a 50 50 chance yeah, of like, do you know what I mean? It's like, they, yeah, they're, they're probably both be there. good. They're probably both be good, honestly. Right? Are you sure about yeah. that? Yeah. Because they're the first ones packed, so you know what I mean? Last to oh, open. True, true, true. Must true. be. True, true. Our men's go together, right? Three, two, one, go. Okay. I don't know, it's quite heavy again. Wait, let's feel it. You gotta be let's feel it. Though. That feels like a watch. No! That feels like a watch. Do you, are you sure you because you haven't opened it yet? Are you sure you wanna you wanna swap? Like this box? Do you wanna swap? No, like, feel it. You can't it. Bro, that, no, 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 a Rolex. A it's Rolex. A Rolex. No, okay? it's not. Look, can you not tell if it's a? Are you okay? Rolex. Look, I see it. I see it. Are you touching it? Touch it. He thinks that's fake. That's real. It's got diamonds on it. Diamonds? I can't read diamonds. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I get. Wait, so I got Casio. <laughs> New expensive watches. Honestly. It's a Casio. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me just. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, it's got to be at least like 500, right? Oxygen model. Oxygen model, okay, okay. It says oxygen. I get that for free, but cool. 23 99 <laughs> I see the CBA. So I think... <laughs> I, 
I didn't say you could touch that. Right. No, that can't be it, bro. That wait, so that is that wait. That can't be. That can't be. That can't be it. I'll try and find some more stuff in this. Wait, is this box magic? <laughs> I'll lay down. Okay, go. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, guys. Okay. A hoodie, an off-white hoodie. Oh, what's the? Uh, oh, a MacBook. Oh. Wait, what? Oh my god, the camera's fell. Quickly fix it. Uh, endless stuff. I suppose. Uh, oh what have you what? found? There's, wait, what? Can you help me? Wait. How the heck? How's that even? Oh my god! I don't know. I actually... Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here, and we're about to open an eBay mystery box. Here, and it's so crazy because I ordered this one. It's a two hundred fifty dollar mystery nineties box. I mean, that is a lot of money, and I just don't know what is in here. Crazy thing about it, you guys, just because I was being a little bit daring, I bought two more. I haven't received them yet. I bought a thousand dollar one. And I bought a hundred dollar one, so I didn't get those yet. And those are not for 90s, those are just like random things. I can only imagine. But this one is supposed to be filled with 90s. Had it for a day, I was so curious to open it. And another thing about this, when I read the description, because I bought it from the same seller that she did, so since hers was good, I'm thinking mine's gonna be good. And another thing is, it's definitely not vintage. This is just themed, so it's not stuff that was actually existed in the 90s. It's just kind of things that were popular, so it's not going to be anything like used or worn. At least I hope not. Unbreak the seal right now. And another thing about this, you guys, I do not suggest doing this because most of the time, people get scammed. They get the worst things. You never waste your money on stuff you don't even know what it is. But I'm just doing it because my sister got a really good one, so I'm trying, trying to see if I can get it. Boy, we are at the top, we are opening this thing, and about to see the craziness. I cannot even imagine. Ooh, whoa. Oh my goodness, this looks like a bunch of toys. Ah! I don't know what to see right now. I mean, this box, when I first saw it, my first impression was like, I don't think this is worth $250, unless there's jewelry and gold in here, because it's pretty small, but... Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like might be, maybe, there's new stuff in here, which is really good, because some of these unboxings, I've seen old socks, old gloves, I've seen open food, I do not see any of that craziness. All this looks really good. Look at it one at a time, see what we got here. a big old handful and I just put some of it on the table. This is not even a quarter of the box, you guys. And now that I see the inside of it, there's so many things. So many random little things, but they do look like they're 90s. This one is kind of weird. I'm kind of looking at it like, <laughs> I don't know. I actually think I have this for one of my Barbies. It looks like a Barbie outfit, little Halloween dress. Kind of weird. It looks a little bit used. This one is really sticking out at me, and I think I have like the same exact one. Look at this, you guys. It's a bead kit. One of those pastel neon bead kits. This is so... It brings back so many memories. I used to make friendship bracelets. Wow, it doesn't even look used. It's got all the little strings and the cords. Adorable. This is probably worth about 10 bucks. And don't get too mad guys, I gotta go through this stuff really quick because there's so much stuff this video will, I think would be like two hours. So this one is really weird. We got a little pack of Hostess Cuppy Cakes. Thankfully, we can eat them, they're from 2017, but I ate these in the, in the 90s. So this is definitely 90s. Ooh, what is this? Like a Barbie outfit. <laughs> that is so, so funny. Did they feel like a little purse? Yes, these for sure, I know I have these grown up. It's seven days of the week lip gloss. I don't think this is vintage, it looks pretty new. But look at that you guys, all these sparkly lip glosses. It's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's got those neon colors. It's a good one. We have a My Little Pony, look at this Fluttershy. Now definitely, I think Beanie Babies did come out in the 90s, but this looks pretty new, it looks brand new. Super cute, and ooh, now this, this is amazing. 
And the reason this one is so amazing, guys, because I don't see these anymore, and they were so popular in the 90s when I used to go to school. So basically, this is a little pencil case, but it's like, like not electronic, it's mechanical. I'm just gonna open this. I haven't seen one of these in years. <laughs> I don't even know where they found this. Wow, this is my favorite. So here's our little Barbie case. So basically how these were, you open them up and you put your pencils in here. You could kind of stand them. And then there's little buttons. There's like little contraptions. I don't even know how to make it work. Oh, there we go. Look. You push the button and you got your pencil sharpener. Boop. That is unreal. I think I have the same exact one. Ugh, love that. Some more food looks pretty decent. It's all wrapped up. A little bunch of Tootsie Pops. Definitely ate these growing up. They still sell them. And this is a little weird. I mean, emoji light up wristband. They did have these kind of like happy face ones, but this is brand new. I mean, not too 90s. But it's cute. And we got this crazy Barbie outfit. So stylish. I actually love it. And of course we got another one. But this, you guys, look at the outfit. I mean, neons. It looks totally 90s. It's got little sandals. Got a pack of neon glitter glue. Now this is popular now, and it was then. I used to use these all the time, these little puffy paints. I used to decorate things, put them on t-shirts. And now people are using them for slime, which is totally different. Very good. Let me reach on into this box today. Oh, look at all of this stuff. Ninja Turtles. I see crazy things. What is this? Candy? I don't know. I'm kind of a little upset. I thought there'd be like bigger things like stuffed animals and like toys. But these are kind of small little chashki things. Let's see what it is. Dumb stuff. Let's see the last pile. We got a whole new pile going. And this stuff, I mean, some of it is weird. Some of it definitely reminds me of the 90s. We got this right here. It is like those little rubber bands, those rainbow looms. I definitely had these when I was a kid. I don't know what I did with them, but I definitely had those. And ooh, look at this. Flarp. Now, believe it or not, putty and slime was popular back then too. Not as much as, as it is now, but I definitely had something like this. And one of my favorite things when I was a little girl, which is why I think I do it now on the show, was the lip gloss. Look at these. These totally look like what I had when I was a kid. They're like these little... I gotta open them. They're like these little jars. I think they were like the same ones. Now, this right here is what I was hoping for. Ooh, and I don't think that they were open. They're totally sealed. Wow. Oh, I miss these things. These are like little lip balm pops. So we got watermelon. Ooh, we got cherry. What is this one? Lemon. All the flavors. I used to have tons of these. What is this? Raspberry. Peach. And grape. This is so, so cute. And they're brand new. Because I know a lot of people send old and used garbage. These are good. And look at these. I don't think I had these when I was little. But they are ring pop lip glosses. And I actually have these now. Super cute. Something at the back of the table is kind of catching my attention. It's really, really odd. Look at this. It's like a little gingerbread Barbie dress. Crazy. Found a few of these sweeties. Oh, used to love these. Yes. These are those little sugar straws, almost like pixie sticks. A few of those floating around. They weren't actually in a package, which is a little strange. And, oh, yes, Ninja Turtles. I used to love Ninja Turtles. I watched it all the time. What is this? A little tin, two erasers, two pencils, two stickers. Love it. Oh, I'm going to, so I gotta pick it up because there's so many things. Now this definitely, I mean, ooh, is it even used? Yeah, there's a seal on there. This is a hand sanitizer and it's super cute because it's Dots candy scented, like a candy scented one. But I don't remember these in the 90s. I think they got more popular in 2000. And... Kitty, what is this? What is it, like a bank? Hmm, it's kind of cute. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Ooh, now this is a blind bag. Blind bags definitely did not exist back then. Little turtle keychain figure. I can open this. I'm curious. And, who do we got? Oh, look, we got Master Splinter. 
that's crazy. I was hoping for one of the turtles, but this looks so 90s or even like late 80s. Good one. Bag of candy. Now these candies, I've actually seen this at the Dollar Tree before. Kitty mix. All of these are from the 90s. We got lemon heads, gel busters, now and later, super bubble. And it looks pretty good and clean and sealed. We're doing pretty good so far. That's a bottle of Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Actually, I use this on my kids now. They use it and I used to use it. I don't necessarily think it's from the 90s, but let's see if it's new. Take it. <laughs> Haribo Smurfs, yes. These are new candies. These are not vintage from the 90s, but you guys, Smurfs was like the most popular show. It's coming back now. And look at these, I don't think I've seen them before. Sour gummy, little Smurfies. Now this, hmm, nail polish, what is this? Super light. <laughs> it looks like nail polish, but literally you guys, this thing feels like a feather. They're so light. Oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, you know what? I actually know what these are. These are not nail polishes, they are highlighters. They're like these little neon highlighters. And I have these. I used to have them. I haven't seen these around for years. Look at that. It's got like a little marker tip. What is this? Like little post-its. Major huge thing in the 90s, Hello Kitty. I loved it back then and I still love it now. And this, I actually have one of these. I think it's black and I kind of know what it is. Yes, and look at these like little uh, cosmetic brushes. That is so cute. I mean, this was like $2 when I bought it. So I don't know where they get off charging $2.50 for this box. Because so far it's not worth it. But I like this stuff. And we get a pen. I used to have one of these. Little Google eyes. Probably worth a buck. We are about midway through this box right now, you guys. And I... I don't know, I just have mixed feelings about it. I'm not too impressed. I thought there were gonna be more toys, like dolls and like games and board games. So actually, I think I could just take it out like this. Pretty easy. Now this candy, what well, is it awesome? Oh yeah, oh yes, I used to eat these all the time. So basically, they are like these little fruits. I think you guys have seen these before. They have powdered sugar, like pixie stick powder. We got a little lime, we got a little orange or a peach. Oh, these were so cute. I always used to have these little strawberry, little grapes. And these are so totally 90s neon colors. Let me just open one. It's like a pucker powder. Ooh. It's kind of crazy. We got a lot of food in this box. I wasn't expecting it. And I see a whole bunch more of these little pixie sticks floating around. I put a lot of these, these little sugar straws. A bunch of them. Got some Mentos gum. Oh, I've never seen this before. Mentos, I did used to eat them all the time. Oh, more food. What is this? Cheez It snack mix. Why? Why did they put this in here? We get. Oh, oh yeah, I used to use this all the time. When I was little, I used to wear hairspray. I used to keep my hair really flat and like a bun, almost like a JoJo kind of ponytail. And sometimes I would bring these to school with water and like squirt my hair. That brings back memories. I haven't had one of those. They get some... What are these? Bouncy Oh my goodness. I have actually seen these at Target at Halloween. These are not 90s at all. I am looking at this thing. I've been for a while and I gotta get it out of here. You guys, look at this. I used to have a big one of these little water baby. Oh, so, so funny. But this one's tiny. And it's definitely new, which is kind of a good thing, but it's not one of the older ones. A little squish of ice. We have, I don't know what this thing is, it's like a little monkey sitting on a little toilet. And I don't know, is it a bank? I don't know what this is. It doesn't look 90s at all. Ooh, now this, yeah, this is what I was expecting would be in here. You guys, these were so popular years ago. The little scratch and sniff, uh, scratch and sniff stickers. Oh, I used to love these. Look at them, they're like candy flavored sugar babies. They smell so good, look at this, Junior Mints. This actually kind of looks old, like vintage. I don't know if they make them anymore. Double bubble, look at those little pieces of gum. Oh, I gotta open this one. I have not had these in years. 
There are two sheets. I gotta open these junior mints. This is like the thing I'm most excited about so far, which is kind of sad because I was looking for some like Adams Family stuff, things that I used to play with, and I just don't see any of them. All right. This is also pretty interesting. Look at this. It says collect them all. They actually made all of the candies. They got Blow Pop, Dots, Fluffy stuff. I gotta buy these. This gave me a good idea. And what is this? Oh, yeah, I used to have these, like these little tissues, little Hello Kitty tissues. And... Spongebob. Pretty good, but definitely, I don't think this was from the 90s. I don't think Spongebob was around back then. These are those smencils, those scented pencils. They're so cute, though. Look at this. It comes in strawberry, pineapple, lemon soda, cotton candy, and cherry. These are good ones. These are usually about $8, $9. But these are cute, they're like in kind of girly colors, and they're not actual Legos, you guys, they're magnets. I don't know. They look like they were on clearance or something, $4.98. I don't know if these are 90s, I like those, I'll put them on the fridge. Snoopy. Snoopy was very popular. Snoopy, Woodstock, all the Charlie Brown movies, so I guess I see why they put this. But they didn't have bath balls back then, little bath bombs. This is so cute, look, it's got like a little toy. I'm gonna do that on another show. What is this good thing? So this looks like a Christmas ornament, but it actually looks like a real cookie. I'm kind of confused. Oh no, no, it's like a Play-Doh. It's like a plaster. Well, it's kind of good for the holidays. It doesn't look 90s, like most of this stuff. But this jackpot. This is totally... This is what I used to have. Lisa Frank, little cosmetic set. Lisa Frank is the number one thing. I think my whole room used to be Lisa Frank. I have the stationery, I had the makeup, I think even like my bedspread. And you don't see it too much often, and I'm actually surprised they even found this. Because I had one a long time ago, and I haven't seen these around at all. So this is a pretty good find. And if you look in there, you can see there's like lip gloss, little tattoos, just a bunch of different stuff. I gotta open this now. I started opening it. So this has a lot of little Lisa Frank trinkets. And I love the little characters. So we get some, ooh, it looks like glitter tattoos. They're super cute. And, all oh, those are like little nail stickers. Little raspberry lip gloss. I probably have like a hundred of these. Little nail file, love those lips. And you get, oh, so cute. I remember these, these tiny little nail polishes. The box is pretty much almost empty. A few more things in here. We got lollipop. A lot of food in this box. Wasn't expecting it. And oh, oh yeah, I actually I remember these. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. These are they used to be like these little um, decorations, but they're also pens. If you can believe it, there's like a pen at the end of it, and they look like flowers. Super cute neon colors. Whole bunch of those. And I did have this pen. Look at this. It's like one of those little rubbery ones. Totally 90s. And this one I had too, I think. I don't know where they found these vintage pens. Kind of like a little duck face. Another thing I was really expecting, you guys, was trolls. Trolls were so big in the 90s. I used to have the big ones, the little ones. And there wasn't one of those. There wasn't one uh, Cabbage Patch Kit. Those were pretty popular. It wasn't much. Oh, we got more stickers. Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. We got the blow pop. I didn't even see it. Scratch and sniff. These were my favorite. These were probably like two or three dollars each. I don't know. They were the best. Smells exactly like a blow pop. We got all the candies. I definitely have to get more of these. And you guys can leave me a comment down below and let me know now in school do they have these kind of stickers. Because I know before they were super popular. We got ball pop. Ooh, that looks like a mega jawbreaker. That looks kind of dangerous. I don't like that one. These Hello Kitty little tattoos. I think I've had these before. We have, this is really cute. I don't know if it's 90s. We got a mini lip balm set for these lip balms. Look how cute. They have little bows and like a little cosmetic bag. That kind of maybe could be. And what is this? Nuclear neon. Hmm. Ooh, it's like slime. Called glow in the dark black light reactive slime. They, yeah, they definitely had slime back then. 
kind of cool. Add this to my collection. But this is new. I actually saw this at Five Below. <laughs> you got it there. We got some. Ooh, look at this. Rainbow Nerds flavored lip balm. Gotta check that out. Nerds are one of my favorite candies. This is so cute. Look at this. It's like a little jar. Smells like candy. This is so adorable, you guys. But look at the price. This was a dollar. I mean... <laughs> like a big one. It's something that's worth the money I paid for this. More of these sugar straws. They had like a thousand of those. I'm not impressed with this at all. What is this? Body shimmer. Yeah, body shimmer used to be popular too. Nice. Pretty good. Kind of smells like strawberry and for some reason either I have this or I did have it. It smells pretty new. It's definitely not old or used and the final thing we got, I can't even believe it, you guys. Look at this. Some gem stickers. Those little gemmy stickers. And this doesn't remind me of 90s at all. I mean, this is just something... This is something pretty new. <laughs> I guess I could use them for a craft. Unbelievable. took forever. There were so many things in that box, but these things, you guys, are not what I was expecting. And I could not tell you more and more, please do not do this. I have seen, actually, I've seen $5,000 boxes people have opened that actually had worse stuff than this. So I guess I was kind of lucky, but $250, no, it's not adding up. I looked at it, I looked at everything. I don't even think it's worth $75. Maybe the most, $75, $100, the most. So this was a complete ripoff, and none of this stuff was really too, too 90s. To tell you the truth, a lot of this stuff looked like it was from the Dollar Tree. A lot of the candies, some of the little trinkets. I have definitely seen these down at the Dollar Tree, these little lip glosses. Most of the food was from there. This I've seen at Target on clearance, these little Halloween balls. And there's only a couple things that are bringing back memories that I was hoping for. I was hoping for, I don't know what I was hoping for, a unicorn to jump out of the box, I don't know, something, for $250. When I got the box, I was like, I can't believe it. It was so small. I thought it would be triple the size, but it wasn't. And there's such little teeny things, little Barbie dresses, little gingerbread. I don't know what that was. The outfits were kind of cute. They were like wrapped up. I don't think they were worth much more than a dollar. But my favorite thing that totally brought me back was this little stationery kit. This little Barbie pencil case. I think they had the same one. Really, really cute. But I still think it's not worth more. Maybe it's worth $10 the most. Besides that Barbie box, the only thing that really reminds me of when I was a kid were these little lip glosses. I used to buy these all the time and I haven't seen them for years. So these were such a treat. They got all the different flavors and colors. But I was really disappointed because there was so much Dollar Tree food. Like dollar store food, little cupcakes, we got some cheeses. Why did they put this? This little bead kit was probably one of the more expensive things in here. And I don't even think this was worth more than maybe $10, $12. All those different beads are so, so cute. Velveteenies, no, I could not take this. So, but we do have a video to do today. If you guys have missed it, we did a really awesome eBay mystery box challenge and a lot of you guys liked the video and wanted us to follow up with another one. Well, I haven't decided yet whether or not I want to do the more expensive eBay mystery box. So in the meantime, I decided to check out the Nerf mystery box. So we were looking through all the different mystery box, but what we got is the Nerf mystery box, which honestly just right off the bat looks amazing. I gotta admit, they did way better than the eBay mystery box. And guys, in this, there is a chance to win. A gold Nerf gun. I know you're thinking, Papa Jake, a gold Nerf gun. You would already know this thing would weigh a ton. If it was, if it was a gold Nerf gun, that would be like a million billion dollars. So it, it's not solid gold, but there is a chance. Regardless, there should be some pretty cool stuff in here. So we're going to open it up and check it out. I have no idea what's inside. Of course, it's a mystery box. So let's dive into it. And like the last one, we'll check everything out. But if you guys like these mystery box challenge videos, smack the like button down below. Let's try and get 40,000 likes for another mystery box challenge. Logan, I need my surgical knife. 
That's a spoon, though. That's also not a no, fork. There you go. All right, let's jump into this, guys. Here we go. Okay, so I guess we'll do this kind of how we did last time. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to surprise myself. I'm not going to look in. I'm just going to take one thing out at a time. Okay. Ooh. All right, all right. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm already seeing some fun <laughs> stuff in here, though. It's packing foam, but no, it's Nerf darts. That's actually really smart. And they're colorful. Yeah, they packed it with Nerf darts. We're gonna put my hand in. Let's see what we grab here. It looks to me like they're all packaged, which is good, because I was kind of worried that they'd be like used Nerf guns. Three, two, one, go! Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of Nerf darts in here. Uh, it is a Nerf fire strike. I've actually never even seen this before. Now, once I go through all of these, I can kind of get an idea as to if it's worth it. I don't know if this is going to all add up to being cheaper than the mystery box or more than the mystery box. I have no idea, but once we pull out an item, I thought it'd be really cool to test them out, which is why I went off the bat and made a little nerf target over there for us to test out every single gun. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to see how it is. One thing that I didn't realize was it has a target attached to it, like a laser target. Check this out. So at first I was like, oh, maybe it's motorized. But when you click this button down here, it sends a target out. You can see on the wall there, just barely, there is a target, which is kind of cool. Um, it doesn't really work for our cups, but I'm going to check out the accuracy of this thing, because whenever I get a new Nerf gun, you know, I gotta fire it off and see how it works. Honestly, it feels really cool. Let's check it out, right? I'm gonna go for the top one. Three, two, one. Oh, all right, a little high, a little high. Don't worry, got some uh, extra bullets here. Ooh, all right, all right. Not the strongest Nerf gun. Three, two, one. Oh, dude, I don't know if it's the Nerf gun. All right, all right, bullets. give it to me. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> Another miss. Okay. All right. Well, the targets have not been touched, which means we'll move on to the next item. This and hopefully gun, one of us will win. This gun, I think, is a dud. I, I do too. We should check too. Are these like legitimate Nerf guns, or do they send us like knockoffs? What do we got? I don't even see it. Oh, it's it's leaking. Ah, it's a mega. So oh, we got a lot of packing darts in here. Oh my gosh, there's so many packing darts in here. These are like guns I've never seen before. Maybe this is like a US thing, but this is a mega, like a pistol maybe? I love megas, so uh, we'll see how this one works. All right guys, so check it out. I went ahead and I loaded it all up. So I still don't know if this is like a pistol or more of a shotgun maybe, but you load it through here. Just like this, it's got the revolving cartridge up here, and of course it's a mega, so let's see how this thing does against our very amazing target set up here. Going for the top target. Three, two, one. Ooh, it's definitely straight. I think I can hit this. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. got the top one. Nailed. Oh! Got my aim on. Oh, it's not bad. It's a pretty sweet gun. I like it. it. Also has an attachment at the top so you can add stuff to it. So pretty cool. And I think it's a great addition to the mystery box. Let's uh, let's keep going. All right, guys. Next up, put my hand in here. Eyes are closed. I'm gonna try and grab something small this time. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. What is this? What is that? I have no idea. Uh. Oh, it looks like it's a grip. Like, oh, like maybe like a Nerf grip? What is it? Oh, I'm wrong. I think it's a target. Oh, I know that. what it is. It's like a Nerf bandana. How do I look? Ooh. Do I look ready to fight? No, you don't have it on right. Jake, you have it on wrong. Check it out! These are really sweet. These are like perfect. So if you're playing Nerf and you gotta put something on, like, you know, go on a secret mission, you got this version and then you got, I actually kinda like yours better. Like, yeah, mine's red. red I'm ready to go. I'm ready sweet. to do a stealth mission. All right, so not a bad addition to the Nerf mystery box. These are, uh, these are awesome. I'm definitely gonna be keeping these and using these again. I think I might just leave mine on. I can't see your eyes, but okay. All right, moving on guys. Let's put my hand in the box again. Let's go for something medium here. You're gonna have to describe it to me because I can't uh, see. It is not a, it's uh, oh! So it's not a Nerf gun. It's um the new thing Nerf's doing, the Nerf Nitro. I've actually always seen these and always been kind of like, I don't know, maybe I want to try it, but I, I guess it makes sense. It's a Nerf mystery box, so anything Nerf goes. Okay, you know what? I've always wanted to try one. Let's open this up and test it out. This is pretty sweet. This is the Nerf Nitro. I've never used one before or even really seen them work. So as far as I can tell based on the picture on the box, you put it like this, you pull the trigger, and this car is going to go flying. So I set up the barrels it came with, and we have our targets. Uh, let's see how cool this is. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that was actually pretty sweet. But it knocked down every single target. I mean, that's better than the Nerf guns could do. Oh, I, I mean, I, I guess if you want to fire a truck at someone, that kind of works. So we built a jump for the car. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty sweet, man. Like five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, 
Oh! I mean, it worked pretty well. man actually a lot more fun than i thought it would be honestly i saw that i was kind of like Erp, nitro i don't know but that is cool especially once you make a jump and it works really well and i don't know if we're gonna use this again but who knows maybe we do a nerf nitro box for in the future all right guys let's go in here and grab the next mystery item i kind of saw it right off the bat so i know what it is so i'm gonna grab out a bunch of these because i can tell what they are they have Ooh, there's so many attachments. Yeah, a bunch of attachments for nerf guns, which is pretty sweet in a mystery box. It's kind of stuff that you wouldn't normally buy for a nerf gun. So I'm gonna take them out and check it out, but it looks like we have a stock as well as a shield in this one. This one comes with a silencer, a hollow sight, and oh, what's this? This is a oh, that's pretty sweet, dude. Check that out. It's a it's a stock that carries bullets in the back of it, like for extra ammunition. All right, all right. You know what? Let's grab all these attachments. Wait, okay, wait. If we have all these attachments, we need a gun to put it on. Should we keep going? See if there's a gun we can put them on. All right, let's put the attachments aside. Let's keep going. Hopefully, it's an awesome gun. The most amazing Nerf gun. The golden Nerf gun is. Is it golden? Is it amazing? What is it? It's, it's not that amazing. Okay, well, let's open up the world's smallest Nerf gun and see what it looks like. Let's test it out on our targets over there. Whoa. <laughs> what? Dude, that's pretty sweet. It looks, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I don't know what this is I, for. I, I don't know either, but it looks cool. Three, two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that so, did not work. So maybe it really is the world's smallest and worst nerf gun. I, I had so much yeah, hope for try, it. Three, two, one. Oh, that's really bad. I bet this is probably like two dollars or something because this really sucks. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. We might use it for it a video, cool. but um, all right, I guess it's time to move on. The final item in the nerf mystery box. Let's see. Is it the golden gun? Is it the best nerf gun ever? What is it? It's big. It's heavy. Logan, what is it? Well, it's not gold. It looks cool. It's an end strike strife. It's uh, fully automatic though. That's pretty sweet. We can use all these attachments. Right, yeah, it's an end strike. Okay. All right, all right, let's open it up, load it up with batteries, attach every single attachment to it, and try out this gun. I'm actually excited. All right, guys, check it out. So we added as many of the attachments as we could. We still have some cool ones left here, which I'm gonna show off, but this is our gun. Now, this is in its final form. So the grip comes down like this, the stock goes out, you have a shield that flips up, now you're fully ready. It also has a silencer on the top here, and the cool thing is this is the stock that has extra Nerf bullets in the back of it. Check that out. So now, all together, you've got a sweet looking Nerf gun. We also have here, this is an extra stock, which actually is really cool. It has an additional Nerf bullet built into the top of it so you can fire an extra bullet. We also have a holographic sight and a flashlight. So we're gonna try these out after, but let's check this thing out and see how it works within the target range. Okay, so right off the bat, this shield makes it really hard to see, but it would work pretty well to defend yourself, but let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, got the first one, and I'm out of ammo. All right, so it has a really short clip. We could extend the clip, obviously, and put a bigger clip on it, but uh, accuracy-wise, it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna get rid of this, though, and check out the holographic sight. I went ahead and remodified the Nerf gun. Check it out. So we now have a holographic sight, which has a red dot in the middle of it. That is looking really sweet. And then, of course, on the back, we have this stock, but the cool thing about it is I can rip the holographic sight off the Nerf gun, like so, pull this down, and then this is locked and loaded, and then I have an additional bullet at the back of the stock, which is super powerful. So let's first try it with the regular gun and see how it works. And again, this is all from the stuff that we got in the Nerf mystery box, so pretty cool. Ooh, holographic sight for the win. Ooh. Oh, there we go. All right, last shot with the stock. Oh, got the middle one. That is pretty sweet. And then when you're done, you just slide back on the holographic site. This Nerf mystery box turned out to be pretty awesome, guys. I was like, I didn't know what to expect. I don't know if it was all gonna be like knockoff Nerf guns or if they were gonna give us a lot of lane stuff. I actually was kind of like, not disappointed, but I thought they'd have more of like this kind of stuff. Like the, uh, oh, all 
pack nerf foam. I thought it would come with a lot more of like this kind of stuff, like different nerf accessories that I wasn't really thinking about. It was more kind of like nerf guns, but they did have some other nerf mystery boxes. So if you guys think I should do another one of these, like I said before, smack the like button down below. And if you guys want to do more mystery boxes, let me know in the comment section. But guys, this has been Papa Jake from Team Epiphany, and I will see you guys next time for another awesome video. Jen and I'm waiting for my friends Lindsay and Thea. They're supposed to meet me here for an eBay mystery box challenge, but they're nowhere to be found. So here! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> always come prepared! So. Okay, Thea, you go first. You won last what? time. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's get into this. Never be careful I'm with scissors. Well, what are all the Valentine's Day things? There's like roses, there's chocolates. Oops. Of animals. Um, this is a big box. There's gonna be more than that in there. What about like your crush? What if your crush oh. pops out like, hey, I'm Lindsay's crush. Just in time, right there. Okay, just in time, right there. This box. Uh, let's see what I got. Oh, the dreams do it? come true. I got oh. peanut butter cups for me oh, yeah. and oh. for you and you and you. I was like, oh, Ben. Hey, Lindsay, you are up. I'm so excited! Okay. What you get? Oh. 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 That is. I'll be yours. yours. Oh, oh, that is so adorable. Oh, that's some candy. That's a hoot. Ah. Uh, <laughs> get it? Oh, he's so cute. What's your favorite bird? Ooh, um, an owl. Well, or an ostrich. Ooh, that one's really cool. Alright, Jen. Okay, let's see what I got. Alright. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a party! Twist <laughs> Left hand on red! <laughs> Have you guys ever played this? It's so much yes, fun. Yes, it is. Okay, back to you, Thea. Back to me. I do have those chocolates. chocolates. But yeah, just hand For them over sure. here. Yeah, I'll just like we'll keep them safe. Them. Keep them safe. You know, that is it. Alright, let's see what I got oh, next. So oh, what? <gasps> what do you got? I got a secret, extreme secret formula lab kit so I can make mm. up like my own drinks and stuff and it fizzes and some of them glow in the dark. Oh, what? I think I can make slime. <gasps> I love slime. Oh. Oh, Mary Shea, what is in here? There's so much stuff. Do you want me to hold your owl? Yeah, please hold Frank for a second. Frank, you need a, you need a What? <laughs> what is it? Dylan's candy bar. Is this a candy bar? Ooh! This is a giant heart piece of chocolate. Like this yeah. whole thing is a piece of chocolate. <gasps> okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn! Just turn! What am I gonna get? <gasps> Holy cannoli! You are perfect! <laughs> Glittery and it comes with candy. Aww. That's my type of cat. All right, Thea, back to me. What'd you get? Oh, and I got a little baby poppy. Oh, oh so cute. baby poppy. <laughs> this is my hair in the mornings, you guys. Yeah. Yep. I need to. I need to come up with a name for mine. What yeah. should I name my perfect pet? Let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm. My grandma had a fish named Pinky. Maybe it'll be Pinky Junior. Oh, there you go. Pinky. Pinky the second. Yeah. Okay, your yeah. turn. Let's All right, go in, people. Oh, oh shoot. It's got a lot of stuff in there. You guys. What? On the show, I talk about all the types of food I like. Mm -hmm. Tacos. Tacos. Yeah. Pickles. Cheese. Pickles. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. Everything. This is also on the list because a lot of times. Jelly beans? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love those! Yes! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Pickles. There's pickle and cheese and taco flavor. Not all together, but. Like, as a. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a bamboozle. Yeah. What's your favorite jelly bean flavor? 
Ooh. Um, I would say it sounds really weird. No, don't say black licorice. Don't oh, say black licorice. Okay. Oh, I love black licorice. Yeah, no, I was gonna say the popcorn one. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's one. fine. But you oh, wait, oh, hold up. You like black licorice? I love licorice. the black jelly beans. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. And I also like the peach. Like peach. <gasps> yes. And I love the coffee one. Okay, okay, I just like the red ones because they're normal. Open. All right. My turn, people. It's just black her. one. I wonder what she got. Woohoo! We can be friends. Oh! oh snap! How did you put me? And it feels Bam. so good. Back right. to you, Sia. Back to me. And once again, dreams are coming true. I got chocolate. And they're not just any other, yeah, it's not just any other kind of chocolate. It's strawberry bark. That sounds Ooh. amazing. Mm. Oh. All right, Lynn Slay, what do you got? What do you got for us? It's alive! It's alive! It's baby alive! Whoa! Look, it looks like Jen. Me? Oh, I've always wanted a baby alive of my own. Oh, and you can do her and hair. She, yeah, she has a little blow dryers and hair accessories, a brush. On her killer outfit and shoes. They're purple, my favorite color. Ooh. Oh, she's kind of matching you. She's got like a pink top. And she has purple. blue eyes or twinning. All right, back to me over here. Back to Jen. And what um, do you got? Drum roll. I'm very happy to tell you that I have Twix cookie bars. Woo, woo. And a little heart, so that means they're mini size, but you can share them with your friends. Do you hold my heart? Friend. Oh, I would love to hold your heart. I'll never break your heart. Thanks. Would you wear my heart on your sleeve? Maybe, yeah. Uh, she doesn't have sleeves, know. though. Well, she's wearing a tank top. It's in their invisible sleeves. Okay, okay. good enough. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll share the candy. Back to you, Thea. All right, <laughs> sweet. Ah, oh, man. We are twinning today, Jen, because I got a heart, too. Oh. And it's Skittles, so it's filled with love and rainbows and happiness. I love rainbows. Oh. Let's see. Oh, you guys, we're not only twinning, we're, we're tripling. Because <laughs> I'm full of M&M's. Um, much, much love. Did you know M&M's were uh, the initials, the M, were for their founders? Both of their names start with M. You want to say that? Them? Wow and wow. 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 If you do this, like with your mouth, wow. 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 Oh. Or mom. Or LOL. Okay, I'm going in, I'm going in. What you got, Jen? From one little heart to a big heart. I'm like, Whoa! I'm like the Grinch. She grew up three times. Yep. Yeah, so Russell, this guy named Russell, he gave me a full of chocolate. Russell, Whoa. what's up? What's up, Russell? I know Russell. Russell. Stour, oh. Stour? <laughs> Stephanopoulos? Am I your Valentine's too, Russell? Maybe. Are you? Are you? I'm not. But... Oh, I am Hershey's Valentine's. I got a cute little teddy bear uh, with some Hershey's kisses. You can hang out with Frank the Owl. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I love this type of candy, but I have a really hard time saying it sometimes. But I got some Fursher. What? Fursher? Fursher. Fursher. Oh. Those are really good, except for make sure they're not the prank kind, because I've seen some crazy prank videos where they're actually tuna fish dipped <gasps> in chocolate. Oh. Uh, we are like the sugar queens because I have oh. an endless supply of kisses. Kisses for you. Kisses for you. Come on. There's a sweet message on every kiss. You could hand them out to your friends and you could be like, call me maybe. You could say, give me a hug. And if it's like Justin Timberlake, you could be like, let's date. I think this is the last one. What'd you get? I know, this is the first thing that I saw, but I've been saving him for last because <gasps> looky, look at him. That's the bananas. That's a huge monkey. Oh my God. Date for Valentine's Day. I don't need anybody He's else. He's so there. cute. He's like ginormous. He's Aww. the same size as you. He's so soft. I just, I don't have a name for him though, you guys. What should I name him? Ooh. What should we name him? Ooh. 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 That's a monkey for um John. Well, I'm kind of sad because 
JT's not in here. But I'm pretty happy about it because I got this friend! Oh, uh, it's so funny! It's, it's a cat! It's a cat! <laughs> No way! What's up, YouTube? So, there's this thing going on where people buy mystery boxes from eBay. Basically, you pay an amount for a specific box containing random things that the seller thinks is worth that much. So you, the buyer, really have no idea what is in the box. So, we're gonna try that out right now. Dude, there's actually one for $50,000. That is insane. There's one for $20,000, 10000 5000 We're going to buy a $10,000 box. So get that here, buy it now. I am crazy because I am going to buy a $10,000 mystery box. I really want to know what is inside the box. What's in there? And there you go. Your package will arrive within one or two weeks, it says. Um, that is it for this part of the video. I'll see you then. As you guys know, I released the Guava Juice Box Holiday Box Edition. I will be signing some boxes, and who knows? You might get one. So get your Guava Juice Box Holiday Box Edition box at guavajuicebox.com. Comment down below. What's your name? Alright guys, welcome back to the video. Um, believe it or not, it's only been five days since I purchased the $10,000 mystery eBay box thing. Oh, it's crazy looking. You can tell the uh, the seller spent a lot of time with this box, putting question marks around it. I don't even know what's happening here. It's pretty heavy, so I'm really excited to see what is in this box. Hopefully, this was worth it, because if not, I'm going to be mad that I spent that much on something this random. Let's have a look, what's inside the box? All right, guys, so uh, here it is. Here is the eBay mystery box. I don't know. I'm really nervous right now. I'm going to be mad if there's just, like, candy in here. That means I, I bought all this candy for $10,000, which is not cool. We're about to find out. Ooh, wish me luck, everyone. Here we go. Open it from here. Where's the top of it? Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm so nervous. Let's see what's in the box, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, he has a letter. I see an ego here. Are you kidding me? There's already an ego? Okay, before I look at the box, whatever, he or she wrote me a note. To whoever this box goes to, hope you enjoy what is in here. I put many ra random things, which you may or may not like. That's a good start already. I did put one thing that may be worth the purchase itself. Thank you for your purchase. God bless. Jesus loves you. I'll put that note here. That note was probably like a thousand dollars. I gotta cherish it while I can. All right, let's see what's in here. We have a little backpack. 
can leave this on the side. Uh, lockets. We have keychains. I don't even know this. This is worth ten thousand dollars. We have flark, an unopened can of flark. It's a noise putty razor laptop, which is cool. I think it's brand new. That's cool. I'm gonna put this here. That's a cool purchase. This is probably like a thousand dollars right here. So I'm gonna put this right here. Why would you put? food in here. We have Eggo. Oh yeah. We have lots of Eggos here. That's cool. Well, at least it's not moldy. It's not even all the Eggos. I feel like this person is just trolling me out. Since Stranger Things 2 came out, I guess they're trying to be funny. I think I just wasted $10,000 because this is definitely not worth $10,000. I'm getting like sad right now. Okay, let's keep going. Uno cards, some Gatorade. Is it unopened? No, it's unopened. Ugh. Gosh, is it expired? I'm getting so sad. I'm like getting sad and mad, dude. It sucks. All right, it's not expired yet. A thousand dollar Gatorade right here. I just drank $150 of it. We have a pineapple. We have a pineapple. We just used a pineapple in the other video. A chicken. We don't need any more chickens. We have chickens in this house. Like, I don't even know what kind of chicken this is. At least give me a screaming chicken that I already have. <sighs> We have a can of spam in here. This is cool. We have party poppers. This is not worth $10,000, y'all. Big mustache. Oh, I don't know if this is worth. This is 24 karat gold. So I don't know if this is actual gold powder. I might have to get this checked. One item here is worth the whole purchase. So this might be it, this gold. We have bacon beans. We have a roll of toilet paper with $100 prints on it. This person is trolling me because they think this is worth a lot because it's a fake hundred. I don't know, man. This is not great. Glue, vitamin B. So this is... This is uh, what's in the ten thousand uh, dollar thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, might as well enjoy it, you know. That was a waste of money. We have a popper. Yeah, we got a ten thousand dollar mystery box. Yahoo! Oh, did you not get that? Here's another one. Woohoo! Pop. Check out this amazing bacon beans, y'all. That's not cool. It's not even wrapped, so I don't even know if this is good or not. Oh, that tastes like bacon. It's jelly beans that taste like bacon. That's crazy. This thing didn't even come with a charger. I'm just trying my best to stay happy. Don't worry. We'll make her use out of this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What's good, y'all? Might as well open the other one. It's $10,000. Hi! All right, good, good. We have an Eggo waffles. I don't even know if I should eat this. This has been traveling around. We have a random Eggo waffle in the box, too, so... I'm not gonna mess with that. Let's play with this flarp thing, y'all. Oh, dude, this is weird. This honestly looks like glue. If you take glue and you put it in the fridge, you get this. This is not even good slime. It's like not even slimy. It's weird. That's not cool. I might go to the pawn shop later and see how much this thing costs. We have keychains, pineapple. Might as well open the pineapple. I don't even know if I should eat the pineapple. Never mind. All right, let's mess with this toilet paper thing. I feel like this is what DJ Khaled uses for uh, after he poops. Look at that. You just kind of roll it up. Cool. And then you tear. What? What? <laughs> I'm so sad, y'all. I don't know what to say. We have spam. I mean, what are you going to do with spam? I mean, we have this camera bag. A lens cap. Lens cap. Lens cap. Lens wipe. No way! Okay! Is this a Rolex? What is a Rolex doing in this bag? Look at it, look at it, look at it. It says Rolex. I did put one thing that may be worth the purchase itself. Thank you for your purchase. Is this it? This might be it. What? How do you even use one? I'm so confused right now. What? Really confused right now. I'm just gonna put this on top of the spam. You guys can spam the comments or whatever. That's cool. If you guys don't know what a Rolex is, it's kind of like a watch that's like a thousand dollars. So it's kind of like the price of this laptop. I don't even know. That's cool. All right, that that made the video a little bit better. <laughs> Ow. Uh, yeah. So there we go. eBay mystery box haul. This is the 10K one. What do you think below? Was it worth it? Was it not? I think everything but this. Maybe this thing was just price of the box who knows i doubt it though what's happening all right i'm just gonna end it here i'm very confused thank you for watching stay juicy